find the sum of the series below by using a well-known function. Let's just look at the terms that are on the right-hand side here. Don't worry too much about the summation. We have a half minus a half squared over two, a half cubed over three, a half fourth over four. Uh, it is alternating. And what we can say is that it looks a lot like our function that has no factorials in the denominator and alternates one half is replacing x but this isn't exactly on one of the known power series that looks like one the known power series that it looks like is the natural log of one minus x but that's all negative terms the difference is that the given series is alternating and, and, and the one from our known table of power series is not. This usually happens when, when we have a negative number plugged in for x. And so we have a negative one half plugged into the series. We can do it both on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Every x is replaced by negative one half and it looks like we have exactly where we need it from where we start at. The negative negative one half is a positive half. And then we square this. And we get a half squared and so on. So it looks like we're in good shape. Let's go to the next slide to finish it out. Here's where we're at. And these guys combine to give you a half. Then you have minus a half squared over 2 plus a half cubed over 3. All the odd terms are positive and the even terms are negative. That is exactly the series that we have. So on the left hand side then we can replace the x with negative 1 half. 1 minus a negative 1 half is a 1 plus a half. And that's more commonly known as 3 halves. So what we're looking at is the natural log of 3 halves.